So if you leave the meat open, it takes longer to cook. Oh, guys, I'm getting famished with this teaching to cook. So I'm just going to make myself a green tea. It's quite healthy. And I've also got my freshly squeezed lemon in a bottle which I will be adding to it as well okay so back to the kitchen so guys this is the meat so once it gets dry we will be getting rid of those big bones So guys, we'll be clearing up the area to wash my spinach. So guys, you can see how messy it is at the moment. But don't worry guys. This is his first time at cooking. It'll be all sorted out. What's this? <gasps> you forgot the tomatoes. Oh, let me add it quickly. Oh my God. This is my cook. My chef. Okay, so how's your tomatoes doing there? Boiling. Yeah, that's good. So we're gonna reduce the fire so you're able to add your concentrated puree into the stew. Okay. And every 10 minutes you need to come and stir the stew around because you don't want the tomatoes getting burnt. Okay. So you might need a spoon because that is thick. Let's see how thick it is. Okay. Thick. Yeah. So the tomato puree will add extra flavor and will aid in the quick drying process of the stew. Okay. Very noisy chef. Yeah. Let's just skip the remaining bit yeah. and this bit at the bottom. Okay. And that's it. So now you need to stir the stew again. Hold the side of your pot so it doesn't fly off the cooker. Give it a proper stir so that your concentrated tomato paste will mix up into your stew. There we go. And guys, you can see that there's a lot of oil. So that's not just the oil from what we turned into the pot initially. But the tomatoes is literally bringing out its own tomato um, oil as well. Should I taste it now to see the salt? Uh, give it a few more minutes before you taste. Okay. Okay. So if you put the lid back on, we need to hasten up a little bit now. All we've done since we started this cooking the video, guys, is done the tomatoes, got the meat ready. But he has actually done very well guys, what do you think? Leave your comments and let me know what you think of his cooking. And guys, your kids as well, have they started cooking? Let us know, leave your comments. Right, so there's the cook. Time to pop the spinach. Okay, so do you know how to do that? Yeah. Okay, so show us what you're going to be doing. So and tell us what you're going to be doing. So you're plucking from when the leaf begins to sprout okay so you're plucking the leaf off the like stem yep okay so the leaf begins to sprout from here yeah and that's where you're going to pluck your leaves okay okay so you're going to pluck all your leaves and then you're going to slice oh, your a little flower in it as well no we don't need the flowery bit so you're going to pluck all the leaves which you're going to do very quickly. Don't throw it in the bin. So guys, what do you do with the stem? I personally keep them and I use them with additional vegetables for a stir fry. Nothing is to be wasted guys, nothing is to be wasted. So we 
this one. So the leaves, the ones that are a bit withery, those, as you can see, yeah, so the ones that are a bit withery, I just pluck around them. Don't waste the whole leaf, just get rid of that bit that's a bit withery. And I can still use that part of my leaf. Okay. So that's what you need to do. Okay. Okay, okay so let's do it together. Get the leaves ready. Hold it together and cut it all at once, like this. So you need to hold it. Guys, I don't know these kids. Yeah, so I hold it that way and then pluck it that way. So you need to be holding that way. I don't know how you hold it. Yep, and then pluck it that way. That's it. Oh, okay. Okay. So that one's a bit slimy. Nothing much on this one apart from one or two leaves. And then we'll be cutting the stalk. The stalks are always good. Okay. Okay. Let it bring the camera close, guys, so you can see. That's the stalk. These are the stalks. Okay, that's the stalk. And those are the leaves. Okay. So what he's going to be doing now is washing. No, you're not going to be washing. You're going to be slicing and then washing. Okay. Okay. So you need your chopping board and I'm going to be clearing all this off. And I am going to be keeping that for another recipe. So guys, I'm gonna start cutting my leaves. Guys, can you see what he is doing? Let me adjust the camera so you can see what he is doing. Can you see that, guys? What are you doing? Cutting the leaves. Guys, can you imagine? Look, he's got that whole bowl to cut and he is cutting one leaf at a time. And that's not what we do. What you have to do to make it quicker yeah. is you put all the leaves together so as much as your hand can hold. Okay, so you put them, layer them onto each other. Okay, layer them on like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so let's take that for a start and then Hold them together, put it on your chopping board, and you continue to slice. Okay. Now this depends on how big you want your vegetables to be. Okay, in my stew I like them a bit chunky, because at the end of the day, you put them in the stew and they do shrink in size, okay? So if they're too small, you will not see it in your stew. So guys, that's how it looks, okay? Yeah, so you're happy with that? Okay. So just layer them out in your hands. Yeah, a few at a time. So as much as your little palms can hold. Okay. And then slice them just the way I showed you. Oh. So you take the seed in this thing. Yeah. And put that on the side. So guys, some people like to, I've watched a couple of videos where people like to wash their leaves or their vegetables before slicing but I prefer to slice first and then wash so guys how is he doing what do you think whose slicing was better mine or mine. his you think so yeah I think he has done a lot of damage to the leaves guys what do you think well I think he's doing a good job yeah we have to give him the credit Let's see his face again. Yeah, that's my very well. And you know what? I am proud of him. And in his studies, he is doing excellently well. 
doing excellent, doing excellent as well. We have to keep praying for our kids, covering them in everything they do, guiding them, mentoring them to be lovely young men responsible in the future because they are our future. Okay, so how are we doing with the leaves? Let's get back to the leaves and see how he's doing. Okay. okay, and then you need to wash it and at the same time your stew is still on fire, your meat is in the oven, so you have to be checking on all that at the same time. Okay. What do you think cooking is? Is it tedious or is it an okay. easy job? It's an easy job if you put your mind to it. Well, getting everything done at the same time, what do you think about that? Yeah. Is it a doable thing that you have to cook the stew, you have to concentrate on your meat, you have to get your yam ready? Yeah. Isn't it too much for you all at once? No. So what do you want to say about mothers generally? What do you think we're doing? How do you think mothers are? That they're great people who help uh, build their child for the future when they're on their own. So if you want to look at the camera so they can see you when you're talking to them? Yeah. And how are mothers? Are we fantastic? Yeah. Yeah. We're awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so we're mothers, we're aunties, we're doctors, we're housewives, you name it. We are there. Kudos to the women. Okay, so you want to have a look at your stew? Yeah. Okay. Let's get back to the kitchen. So he's just putting on his hand gloves and he's going to have a look at his stew again. Let's see how the stew is doing. So it's coming on nicely. So you need to give it a stir again. Does it feel like it's burning? No. Okay. So with the stew, you always have to keep it on moderate heat because if you increase the heat too high, the tomatoes will tend to burn. Should I check okay. So now you can just taste for flavor. So if you want to put the lid of the pot somewhere, take your oven glove off. Let's taste it. But first we need to make sure it's cold before. So give it a little blow, okay. It's salty guys and very well seasoned. Okay. Let's do it one more time, just double check. Mm-hmm, perfect. Good. So I'll just check as well. Let me have a taste. A little bit on the hand there. Just right. So the salt is right, the pepper is right, and all the other seasonings we added. So the Thyme, the mixed herbs, curry powder, the curry powder, the on cube. Perfect. Okay, guys. So we'll get back to the vegetables. So, guys, I've finished cutting the vegetables. Now, time to wash it. So, let's just go and see how he's going to wash the vegetables. So, you need to use cold water. Yeah. Not hot water. I'm using cold water. Okay. So you need to run a lot of water into the bowl so the vegetables are covered. Okay. And you need... Let's bring the camera down. So we'll get this out of the way. So you can put that in the sink. Oh, okay. <coughs> Sorry guys. Okay. So you need a bigger bowl oh, because okay. you've got no space to wash your vegetables. So if you get the grey bowl. Okay, so just pour the vegetables into the bigger grey bowl. Everything. Now let's pour more water into it. So if you take this bowl out of the sink, 
you can put the gray bowl into the sink and you can add some more cold water lots and lots of cold water so what you want to happen is you want to be able to swish your vegetables about in the water so if there's any sand on the vegetables you will be able to rinse them off so okay despite the fact i'm holding the camera i will show you how to do that okay, okay. so you can off the cap now and what you will do is you do this okay. so you give it a light swirl and if there's any sand stuck to the vegetables it will be floating to the bottom oh. okay so you do that and when you want to take the vegetables out you do this no not that you do this so you do it yeah without it floating to the bottom and you do that okay, okay. so you just take it a little bit at a time and you pop it into your bowl so if you bring your other bowl closer you can do that now some people would like to put their vegetables in a strainer so if you want to get your sieve or your strainer then we can allow lots of excess water to drain out of your vegetables so guys we're just wringing the water out now so you need your strainer your sieve Okay, so if you want to get your sieve, so the plastic one will be just right. Are you able to get it? No. Okay. So I'll just... So I'll just bring the metal one. Okay, that will do also. You can grab that one. Okay, so put the vegetables into that one. Or should we just take this out and put this in and then pour it in? No, because the sand at the bottom will pour back into your vegetables okay. and that's what we're trying to avoid okay so now you're doing this you don't need to bother about allowing the water to drip because your sieve will catch your sieve will get rid of the excess water okay yeah so just get the last bits of your vegetables into there and as you can see guys it's already dripping can you see that guys yeah so that's already straining the excess water because what we don't want to do is add more water with the vegetables into the stew okay so you want to pour your other vegetables which are in your bowl into the strainer as well so have you finished washing the vegetables now yeah okay so let's see what you've done Okay, so do you want to lift it up to the camera? Okay, so you've got your vegetables in a strainer yeah. and you've popped it into a bowl. Is there any liquid coming out? Can you lift it up so we can see? Yeah. Okay, so that is straining nicely. So you can pop that on the side here. And then we need to get ready to do your yam. Yeah. Yeah.